All right, everyone. Hello and welcome back to the channel. All right. Now, here are a few videos that I put together that I think we will all find interesting. Uh, the video deals with a frauditor who calls himself not the end of freedom, a.k.a. Mario Castro. Now, mind you, let me say this because this is a shocker for me. Uh, this particular frauditor is in my backyard. Yes, in my backyard. Uh, my good friend, Jen. Jennifer, this is how I came across Mario, I think was it a month ago, uh, she sent me a video of this particular fraud at her, and she doesn't know where I live at, so this was out of the spur of the moment, if you want to call it that, and um, when I looked at where he was at, and I said, oh shit, this guy is like four or five blocks away from my house, I live right down the block from the municipal yard where uh, police park their vehicles, their cruisers, as well as the fuel pumps there for the police and the city employees. So, you know, I feel where I live at, I'm safe, you know. There's always cops hanging out on my block. And, and right across the street, there's a parking lot they hang out in. So, I know I'm safe, okay. I feel very comfortable, okay. But let me say it again. I didn't know. I always threw it out there when I make my videos. I said, shit, I sympathize for those people in Cali, uh, Washington, and uh, Virginia, uh, Arizona, um, Connecticut, where, where it's in infested florida where where those states that are infested with frauditors okay so when i saw this it opened my eyes i said ain't this a kick in the ass and let me just say i honestly because there are other people that i've seen comments that oh i don't have to worry about they're not in my area i think honestly i think by now because this has been going on for a while now i could honestly feel that uh every all 50 states, period. All 50 states have at least one or two or more frauders in there. Uh, so uh, don't have that attitude that you feel that you know, you're you're frauded or free. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, every day, every day, there's some knucklehead going out there who, uh, who has a cell phone with a camera app on it. Oh, how easy it is to go to my local city uh, hall and uh, harass the public employees. How easy it is to go to uh, the police department and be a nuisance to them. Shit, how easy it is to just walk down the side walk and aim your camera at people and people are going to react okay i think we've all learned that these uh so-called first amendment frauditors uh they've traded in their consideration for their fellow citizen for the youtube fame as well as the youtube money again with this particular frauditor being in my backyard i've been watching his videos on a daily i'm trying to get an idea of uh but these frauditors never give that's one thing i notice they don't give notice to where they're gonna be the next day okay because i've been trying to figure out by what they you know by what they're saying in their video oh, okay he's gonna be at this post office tomorrow or dmv or whatever let me go there i want to get into a physical debate with this man i want to be able listen uh, mario has the same mentality as Sean, the Long Island Audit, okay? If you've been watching Sean, I think we've all watched his videos. Sean has it in his head that the Constitution allows him to be disrespectful to people, allows him to do the shit that he's doing. Now, I will say that half the shit, if not more than half the shit that he does, yes, it's legal, okay? But any normal, decent person wouldn't do it because we're considerate of our fellow human being, right? And again, I say these frauditors have traded that shit in for the YouTube fame and the YouTube money. But anyway, uh, I'm looking, like I said, I'm looking to hook up with uh, Mario, catch him out there where he's frauding. I honestly feel that I could break him down. Okay? Mario has that same attitude that the Constitution allows him to do the shit that he's doing. Let me show you an example of the shit that he does. Let's get into the video. Bueno, la mañana y la 15. A ver cómo va el día. Cómo está el día lluvioso. Nublado. Y estamos aquí en la 15, en este parqueo. Parece que este policía paró a, a este muchacho. No voy a hacerle preguntas, pero voy a grabar a este señor. 
All right, so for you non-speaking Spanish people, unfortunately, Mario is another one that has a habit of speaking Spanish while he's doing his frauditing. Uh, and I played this video before, but there is a specific reason why I'm throwing it back on here, okay? Uh, basically, all he's stating is telling his subs that uh, he noticed the state trooper pulling over that red pickup truck, and uh, he's not going to interfere. He's not going to ask any questions. He just wants to record. So, uh, let's Let's get back into the video. Que quiero saber quién es. Qué oficial es, parece que viene. Y es Mr. Ahora andan con dobles esposas. What's your name in Bash? What do you think about you guys arresting me on the highway? With no probable cause. Just retaliating against me. What do you think about Diaz? Giving me six felonies. You don't have you have no answer for that? You don't have a name in Bash? There you have it, guys. Pennsylvania State Police professionals. All right, so let's take into consideration uh, Mario Castro's uh, method of operation. As he stated in the beginning of his video, he wasn't going to interfere. Uh, he was not going to ask any questions. He was just going to record. Now, mind you, he didn't really interfere until the very end uh, when he started asking the cops stupid questions. In my opinion, they were stupid. Okay? Uh, mind you, uh, I pointed out when I first put this video, well, uh, how uh, dangerous is what uh, what he did, let's say. Okay? Uh, he could have stood back there where you see that uh the cow over there he could have stood in front of that location and did all his recording but apparently he wanted to uh show his subscribers that one-on-one -on -one that the officer is having with the driver of that vehicle so he could have walked in front of the vehicle but uh mario went behind the pickup truck which uh, uh the way he just came up behind the officer in my opinion was dangerous okay uh nowadays officers are not taking chances okay i understand that it's broad daylight and the officer shouldn't have to worry but uh, i'm just saying guys with all the shit that's been going on with all the maniacs we know we have out there i don't put it out past anybody that just because it's daytime uh, they wouldn't stoop to that point of uh, ambushing a cop while he's doing his job. Now, mind you, uh, again, why I picked this video is because uh, you notice as the officer got done with the uh, individual there in the red pickup truck, he uh, walking back to the vehicle for no no reason, no reason, because really an officer doesn't have to give you his name and badge number unless he interacts with you, right? And uh, this bullshit that he uh, out of the blue moon. What's your name and badge number? Like, uh, like I, I don't know. My opinion, these frauditors want to like uh, push their authority on the officer. And you saw the officer ignored him. Now, let me say that Mario has a hard on with the state police. Okay, Mario, this would be Mario's been arrested three times now. Mario got arrested on a uh, uh, highway route 80, uh, 81, I should say. That's my highway where I live at. 
uh, he came across an overturned tractor trailer and he happened to be walking on the highway taking video footage and the officer explained to him that uh, it's illegal to walk on the highway especially you're not even broken down you, he just made it a point to uh, park somewhere off the ramp or whatever and walked onto the highway to record that overturned tractor trailer now I understood he was behind the, the guardrail so in my opinion he wasn't I don't know my opinion he wasn't really a safety concern but the police saw him as an obstacle my opinion and um, they just didn't want him there being an obstacle you know you got people already because of the accident both lanes are uh, rubbernecking I guess they call it and um, they just talking to this guy it was going through one ear and out the other they ended up arresting him right that was his first time the second time now you heard this is why i picked this video you heard him throw it at the state trooper there uh how does he feel about the trooper diaz diaz is a trooper who arrested him and charged him with six felony counts of wiretapping now let me show you why let me bring this up on the screen give me a second here all right, so here is a public uh, arrest report on Mario Castro. This is his second arrest now. Uh, October 8th of 2022, members of the Pennsylvania State Police assigned to Troop N Hazleton Patrol Unit were working on an active police investigation involving a missing juvenile. Think about that, okay? Uh, police are now in the middle of an investigation dealing with a missing kid, right? Troopers were speaking with the victim of a missing juvenile, which included sensitive information. Now, I'm taking it that they were talking to the mother and the father of that missing kid, okay? And any conversation you're having with... Uh, Come on, parents of their kids that are missing. Come on now. I, 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 Frauditor should have took shit into consideration. I don't know if he knew that they were talking about uh, a missing kid, but I got to take it because uh, the troopers did tell this guy, back off, you know, we're in the middle of an investigation. But as we all know, frauditors, they don't, you know, their rights are... It's their rights to record. They're not going to stop recording, okay? But anyway, while speaking with the victims, troopers observed a male who was later positively uh, identified as Mario Castro standing in close proximity to the victim, intentionally intercepting the oral communication. Video and audio with a cell phone in his left hand and a GoPro Hero 9 recording device strapped around his torso. So, so uh, again, that tells you that uh, a lot of these frauditors, they, they're right up on top of them. I think we've all seen that. You've seen that in this video here with, uh, with the state trooper in the red pickup truck. He was like, what, three, four, five feet away from the officer? I mean, come on. Any closer, you'd be right on them, okay? So uh, these frauditors got it in their head that the Constitution allows them to do a lot of shit that a normal person is smart enough to not to do my opinion okay now again here you have two troopers investigating a missing juvenile okay and the troopers tell this guy hey you know we're uh, in the middle of an investigation it's dealing with a missing juvenile back off fraud or don't Talking to this guy, I've seen it already in his videos, talking to him is going through one ear and out the other. He feels that they're trying to, like, back him off from recording or whatever. And uh, we all know frauditors don't like backing off. They want to be on, they want to be in a mix of shit, okay? And um, regardless, uh, now the troopers, they take the mother and the father behind the trooper's car thinking okay this guy he doesn't want to back off let me take the parents to behind the vehicle so they can have a private conversation creating privacy now huh and he still wants to follow the cop behind uh, the cruiser. So they ended up arresting him and charging him with wiretapping six felony charges now. Okay, that's uh, why he has a hard on with the state troopers, Pennsylvania State Police. Okay, now uh, he doesn't see anything wrong with it. That's the, that's the scary part, guys. Come on, any normal person, any normal person, come on now. 
Uh, you want to play cop watching? Like I've said it. If you're doing shit right, my opinion, cop watching is standing on the sideline, documenting what goes on between the officer and the person you are. Uh, they have pulled over. But as we all know, frauditors. I don't know whether they're trying to show their uh, sub subscribers that they're hands on. Uh, frauditors want to be a part of the damn video. They want to be like an actor in the damn video that they're doing. Okay. All of a sudden, they start communicating with the person that the officer has pulled over, uh, either giving them advice or whatever the case may be. They want to get involved. Okay. And that's where they screw up. Okay. So again, with an incident like this, this little thing dealing with a missing kid, I would have took it personal. Listen, police there or not, I think I would have tried to swing on this guy. You, my kid is missing. Could you imagine what's going through those people's head right now? Okay, you got some asshole here with a, a cell phone in his left hand, GoPro. All he's thinking about is making a damn video to put on social media. Is this the kind of information you want to throw out there like that? I mean, granted... If after the officers left, I would have communicated with the parents, listen, I got a social media account. I got X amount of people that view if you want. And I think the people would have did, the, the, did it themselves, throw it out there on their own account that if they wanted to, uh, you know, have people looking for their kids, help them out. Hey, if you see a picture of my, you know, put a picture on uh, on YouTube or whatever of the missing kid. And you see this kid here, this is my phone number, get in contact. But again, it's not up to him to make those decisions decisions my what i'm trying to point out it's not up to him you know i would have waited for him to the cops to be done the troopers to be done with the parents and i don't even know if i would have went that far because again a missing kid the parents had to be going through some emotional drama okay so again this is just another thing that i think uh, uh, again i say the frauditors feel that the constitution allows them to do it damn it let me show you another video to prove uh, how much of an asshole this guy is let's get into the next video now 30 b three five zero fast counter number so i'm here at the derby license center in hazelton and uh, they're refusing service because I'm recording in public. I have to conduct some business here um, by my CDL. And uh, now they call the cops because they say that I'm not allowed to record anything I can see in this building. They claim that this is private owned building, which is wrong. You gotta exit if you're gonna record, okay? Why? Because there is sensitive material in here. You can conduct your business, but you have to stop recording. If not, I thought we are in public. This is a public building. Right, there's sensitive material in here, social security cards, credit cards. I'm not recording nobody's social security card. Listen, I had a problem here. You're not gonna, you cannot, because the driver's licensing photos cannot be out on the internet. They have to be taken down. So, you can conduct your business, you gotta stop recording. If not, you do have to leave. But there's a law against that. Right. There is no law about record. You cannot record in here. So, show me the law. I mean, call me the law that I'm not allowed to record here. Okay, now, because it's because no. you just said. I'll, I, 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 the thing center does not allow recording. So, you can conduct. So I'm business. here in the, in the lobby. I'm not in the sensitive material. This is a lobby. Anybody can anybody can do inside. anything here. You cannot record inside here. So you can conduct your business. So you shut your cameras off. What happens if I if I don't stop? You, you have to leave. What if? You gonna arrest me if I don't? You have to leave. Do you gonna arrest me if I don't? I'm going to arrest you if you don't leave. Yes. So okay. You have to leave or stop recording. That's bottom line. Honey, can I help you? Okay, you sure about that? Because you know this baby is gonna it's gonna be watched. If you want to You violating my right, my civil rights here right now. First of all, you're not letting me talk, you're talking over me. 
Well, you always talk over me. Remember last time I, I talked to you, you didn't even let yeah, me talk? Yeah, you that you were number one all the time, and yeah, I don't even think you made it to your hearing. But anyways. Number one? You're not allowed My hearing is on inside. the 25th. You're not allowed to record inside. So you have two choices, sir. Stop recording and conduct your business, or keep recording, but out here. Nothing inside. Okay. What's your name, Ambassador? I'm Corporal Tremendous. Mendes? Corporal Tremendous, yep. What's your so badge you number? What's your badge number? You have two choices. What is your badge number? Give me your badge number. When you are done, we'll give you the information that you want. So you either leave or shut everything down and conduct your business. Your choice. Or oh, I'll get arrested. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll come out. Okay, what's your name, Ambassador? Record all you want for Turco. Turco? Right oh, sorry, man. Then you're right here. You have nothing right there. Sir, we don't need him. Sorry. You don't have. What's your badge? I mean, he's going to do this right, all day long. This is what's, your this is what's your badge? What's, what's your badge? What's your badge number, sir? Oh, absolutely. He does it all over, all over yes. town. Yeah. He does it all over. Thanks, yep. sir. It's good luck. Because he, he's trying to gain power. No, I'm trying to get my, my business done, and, and you prevented me from it. No, sir. Yes, you are. I am not. You can conduct as much business as you want inside. But without recording. Correct. But I'm allowed to record in here. Not inside there, you're not. Why not? It's a policy. Because I'm telling you you're not. Oh, you're telling me you're, so you're the law. Says, you're the law? Not. I enforce the law, sir. You show me the law. Show me the, the I don't have me to the law. show you. You don't law. have to? No, I'm sir. asking you for it. I'm a, I'm a citizen so, conducting business, and right. you're not letting me conduct my business you just because I'm recording. Business, sir. Just you can because I'm recording. Your business without recording. You can yeah, but what's the problem of me recording? What is the, what is the problem with me recording? What is the problem with me recording? material on the inside, PennDOT, not the state police, does not allow recordings. You know how bad you're looking right now? Okay. Yeah. Again, you can conduct all the business you want. Yeah, but without my camera. Correct. So you guys don't want me to record. So, That's all you want. I didn't say Every me. time I get, look, I, said, I got up. a problem here one time about one of your guys. I came to, to surrender my, my, my uh, what do you call it, my medical car, and he failed to put it in the system. I got pulled over like about three hours from here. I almost got arrested because I didn't have my, my, my medical car. When I came here, you guys fired him uh, for some reason. That was before my time. I've only been here since after that. Since after that? Okay, that's so why I'm doing this right now, because you guys doing... So I don't know that... I mean, I almost got arrested happened. because you failed to do your job. Well, so now you guys that telling me that I'm not so going to conduct my business because... So. Mr. Castro, nobody's telling you you can't conduct business. Yeah, but I want to record what you my business. can't record inside. But I don't see no sign here that says not to. We're telling you now. You yeah, but how come what, you're supposed to put a sign in there for everybody to come in and, and see that you're not allowed? I did because I, there is no signs in here. You are now being informed. Yeah, but what happened when the next guy comes? He's going to run into the same trouble. I will take care yeah, of Yeah, he run into the same trouble I'm running right now. Because I'm here, I'm, I'm, so, here, I'm here for like about an hour. Now I have to leave because I don't, I'm not going to stop my recording. You said you had to leave. Yes, I do because I'm, I'm oh, not going to record. Nobody said you have to leave. Yes, you, no. you told me if I don't, if I don't no. stop my recording, I have to leave. Right. If no, I'm going to be arrested. You can record all you want out here. You can't record inside. But I'm allowed to record inside. No, Where not. is the sign that says not, not to? to Where is it? Where is it, guys? Okay. I so, like to see it. Put it in there so I can see it. All the business Am I right want? or wrong, Russell? Conduct Tell me. The you want. Ah, inside, forget about him. Nah, you forget about him. To the truth, well, you're not telling me. me. No, I'm you. Tell but you, you, you're not telling me I'm the truth. You're denying, fucking lying to me right now. Not, yes, I'm you are. Any you are lying. You're no. telling me that I'm not allowed to record it when I can. Penda doesn't want you recording inside because of the sensitive material. Social security cards, driver's licensing photo. I can't use. I can't put them on public unless you're wanted. As soon as you're captured, I got to take it all down. Your stuff stays up forever. What about the sign here? No wanted. Why not? I'm a citizen that I come I here to record that. and then I'm, I'm confronted by you they guys. They say you cannot record on the inside. So all they ask is... Well, I didn't know when I came here. Now, I, now you're telling me what happened to the next guy. How you guys have to advertise. Sir, how many times did you tell him to leave? I asked, how many people come I, here I, I, to I, record? No, no, no. How many times did you ask him to leave? I asked him about twice and twice. I asked him to return and he just off You told me to leave? Right? It's yeah. in my he's video, talk, remember. He's, talk, he's talking to me. Remember, Mr. Okay. it's in my video. Right. Don't lie. Times, right? uh, yeah, super. The supervisor you were told I got, to leave. I got, I got, I got him in my video. Right. You, you never told, told me to leave. leave. He told me if I don't, if it, you're impossible to talk to. You are impossible. Uh, of course, I am impossible because I, I stick up for my rights. You have every right You want me to bend over? over? You want me to bend Absolutely over? Absolutely not. You That's what you're trying to do. Right. No, That's what you're trying to. Yeah, you're telling me that I cannot really? when record. Did I, when did I say I want you to bend over? When well, did those words come out of well, my mouth? Well, you told me that Stop I'm not allowed to record. You tell not to record. No. 
So if, if I do what I what you want, you, you be happy. If you if I do what you want, you be happy. Everybody, I'm not public lobby. This is not private. I pay for this building. You pay. Everybody pays for it. They're telling you that they do not want you. Videotape. What they want, they, what they want, and what the Constitution allow me to do is totally different. Come on, man. And uh, they put a sign, not allowing anybody to report. Mr. Castro, here's the deal. There is um, no deal. I made no deal with the police, man. That's fine. Um, I made no deal with the police. This facility, you're not allowed to record inside. You are welcome inside to conduct your business with no recording devices um, present. So the GoPro has to come off the phone. You can have your phone because, you know, everybody's allowed to be on their phone on the inside. Um, what you're not allowed to do is you're not allowed to record anything. Uh, here you guys go. Um, if you do come into the building and record, um, you will be trespassed and you will be arrested for defiant trespassing, actual communication to the uh, offender. Okay. So again, you're allowed to go in and conduct your own business. Just put all recording devices away. Okay. And we're good for that. All right. Do you okay. have any questions? No. Okay. All right. We'll get you that report on. Thank you. All right. So I think we could all agree that Mario here, uh, if he truly had legitimate business, if he truly had legitimate business there, he would turn the camera off for the few minutes that it's going to take to uh, conduct his business. And then if he wanted to continue to make a video of harassing that DMV, then he would go back outside, flip the camera back on, and plop his ass right in front of the door there like, uh, like I'm against the press does, okay, and harass the people as they're going in and coming out okay there goes your video okay but frauditors want their shit their way okay their way or the highway and, and you you got to put an end to this shit you, there's got to be a point where you uh nip this shit at the bud okay there's no winning with these damn frauditors you heard the comment that came out of his mouth what the dmv wants and what the constitution allows is two different things now when i saw that portion when i heard that portion i should say i made a comment on his video he never replied back but i wrote you know where in the constitution does it say that we citizens have the right to record in public, okay? And never replied back. So I got to imagine that he himself doesn't know. That's just shit that came out of his mouth because he, he didn't have anything else to fire back at the cops, okay? Now, let me also comment that this guy done rubbed his local police department the wrong way. And, and let me, I, like, I... I know some of you guys don't like it, but I always say if you hold the police accountable, it's a good thing. It's truly a good thing, okay? Uh, it's just the way they go about doing it, okay? As we all know, frauditors, any encounter they have with police, they're talking to them as if they're beneath them. They're talking to them as if they're trash. They're treating them like they're trash. And no one, no one, whether they're local uh, law enforcement or public employees Whoever, nobody wants to be spoken to in that fashion. Am I correct? Okay. So, I mean, that, that is truly a bad thing, my opinion, to treat people like shit. Because these are the same people you depend on when you or a loved one are in danger. I doubt very much he's going to call his uh, fellow frauditor, hey, uh, somebody's trying to rob my house or somebody's trying to hurt me or hurt one of my loved ones. I need you to come over here and help me. No. They're going to call 911. And 911 will go there regardless that you treat them like shit, which is a kick in the ass, no? You treat them like shit, and you're going to, a matter of fact, I'm going to show you in this far next video here, okay? Uh, I think I've made contact. We all know it. You continue to push people around. Uh, he's going to, let's say, uh, one of his fraud, it's uh, um, he's under the impression that the lo uh, location is public, and it, maybe it is, but the owner is there, and the owner is going to go hands-on. Like, I think we all know, you continue to screw with people, they are going to be people that just don't care and push back, okay? And police happen to be there. And again, I say he done rubbed his uh, police department the wrong way, okay? And you continue to screw with the local police department where you live at, okay? Where you fraud it at. When you need them, they just might look the other way. <laughs> Let's get into that video. Hey, let me also know your thoughts on all the videos, and I'll see you in my next video.
¿Tú ves? Ahí me... Ahí, ahí. No, no hay luces, no hay nada. Y ellos están haciendo absolutamente nada aquí. Mira el grupito. Mira el grupito. This is private property? Yes, my property. This is private property? What are you doing? What do you mean by what? What are you doing, sir? You think I'll have to Yeah, Steven. What is your name, sir? And this cop, he saw me, this guy taking my phone, and he did not do nothing. Okay? And I want to see tomorrow what's, what they're going to say. Okay? There's this guy. I want to know. I want to know this guy's name. He took my phone. Yes. You're not private property. No, Come this on. is this is not private property. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Go ahead, show me. Get out of show here. me. Get out. Show me. I own the property. Go ahead, show me. Go ahead. Sir, you too close to me, sir. You know you're supposed to be six six feet away, right? Get out of here. Six feet away, and you Get out you the you're violating my. You're on my property! Get out! Go ahead! You know, you go... Ay, 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 and they didn't know nothing about it. You're gonna see myself. You go ahead. Keep 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 running your mouth, motherfucker. Keep running your mouth. Get off the keep running your mouth, motherfucker. Get off my property. Touch me. Touch I'm me. Touch Get off the no, I ain't get me. This is not your property. This is fucking city property. No, it's my property. You see how close you get to me, motherfucker? You saw, hey, what do you, want you to guys do? gonna do nothing about it. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Go ahead, say, come on. What do you want to do? They're right there, uh, go ask them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo, I am recording you, I am recording you, piece of shit. Right over there. I am come recording on. you, piece of fucking shit. Come on. They're right over there. Court me. See if they fucking care. Good. Sir, what's your name in uh, Bachelor? What's your name in Bachelor? No, sir. I cannot do that. You see what happened to this guy, right? You just saw what happened. And you don't do nothing about it. You're not doing nothing about it. You're not doing nothing about it. No, I, I, I am. I mean, this is not private property. Is it? Is this a private property? Is this a private property? Where is the sign that says private property? Where is it? Where is the sign? Sorry, what's your name? Well, how'd this start? What, what's your... What, no, what's, what's your name? What's your name? I'm Trooper Moyer. Trooper Moyer. Right here, M-O-Y-E-R. Moyer, what's your pass now? 13919. 13919. What's your name, sir? Upon it. What, what do you need for? What's your name? Upon it. What do you need? Upon it. Yeah, what do you What's need? your badge number? 7833. What do you need? So I can, I can, I can see your face. Let's see if I can put the, the flashlight. I don't know. So I, I, can, I can see none of this motherfucker's what, what face. Do you need? Nothing from you. You didn't do nothing for me. Okay. Well, then you gotta carry on then. I am carrying on. Okay. I am carrying on. Well, have a good night then. Well, if, well what, am I, what are you gonna do if I'm not leaving? Nothing. You're free to walk. I'm not free to stay too. Yeah, we'll stay here, but... Well, why are you telling me to walk? That gentleman... Why is he, why is he telling me to walk? Because that's his property. No, it's not his property. Sure it is. Tomorrow, I'm going to find out if it's your property or not. Well, well it is. And this is going to go on. He owns the, he owns this the is going to go on. What's going to go on? This. This is going to go on. What's your, what's your, what's your, what's your ID? What's your ID? What do, why you suspect me of uh, committing a crime? Well, no, yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to ID. ID. Why you want my ID? Well, I'm trying to ID who you are. Why? Because I'm, I'm a private citizen. I'm a private citizen. What's your name? Can you step? 
let's let's uh, six feet away, please. What's you don't need my name. What brought you here? What started the problem? You don't need it, it's, it's not your business. What brought me here? Is it? Is it your business? You don't need is it your business? business? No, I don't need nothing okay. from you. If you didn't, if you couldn't do nothing about when he snapped my phone out of my hands, and he got him face. We're busy with another incident. Well, you're, you're, uh, well, you're gonna let him assault me? You're gonna let him assault? He didn't assault me. Yes, he did. He just grabbed my phone and fucking almost threw it on, my, on the floor. Okay. It's not assault or not? We're gonna go. No, it's not assault. It's not assault. But you, if I if I grab your phone out of your hand, what is it? Nothing. Nothing. You fucking full of shit. Carry on. You fucking full of shit. Carry on. Yo, fuck you! Tomorrow I'm gonna report all you, some motherfucker. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Fuck you. Huh? They didn't do shit about it. They didn't shoot about it. Hell yeah! I'm reporting everything. Do this motherfucker thing. You think this is gonna be it? No, fuck no. This motherfucker, this motherfucker better watch out tomorrow. Better watch out tomorrow. Look what I have, yo. He's claiming this is a fucking private property, look. He's claiming this is a fucking private property. I'm on a fucking road. What the fuck you talking about? Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Touch me, motherfucker. Touch me, motherfucker. Touch me, motherfucker. Touch me. Y este es el hotel, mira dónde está. Okay. Este es el hotel. Okay. Yo estoy grabando este pedazo de hijo de la gran puta. Me cago en la puta madre, motherfucker. Fuck you. Go ahead. That's all you do, motherfucker. Fuck. <laughs> Suck my dick, bitch. Yeah, because you don't have a fucking dick to suck, you piece of fucking pussy. Fuck you. Fuck you. Get the fuck out of yeah, here. make me, motherfucker. Make me. Get the fuck fuck out you. Of here. Fucking piece of shit. Yeah, you piece of shit too. Fucking cocksucker.